So how do I get this off of my hands now that I've been holding it? Uh, you go uh, soap and water. All soap right, and water. traditional soap and water <laughs> is the key. <laughs> alongside Reds rookie Josh Van Meter. Let's jump right in with you. Alrighty. From when you wake up to when you get to the ballpark, what are you kind of doing at home to get ready for the game? Um, well, I sleep a lot. I sleep till probably like 11.30 noon every day and then I watch a couple YouTube videos, come here and get ready for the game. What are you watching on YouTube? Uh, I saw this on the Jim Day podcast. There's this guy on YouTube called- The world renowned Jim Yeah, Day the podcast. world renowned, yeah. <laughs> this guy named Sam the Cooking Guy. He makes a lot of like really cool like dishes and stuff. It's freaking great, honestly. Kind of boring stuff probably to the average person, but I like it, so. I don't think that's boring at all. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you people. So now you're in the on-deck circle. I've noticed some of you guys will go back to the dugout a little bit and go, Turner! <laughs> He's obviously the hitting yeah, coach. Yeah. What are you asking in those moments? For me, it's all about like spin rates. Is the guy a high spin rate guy or is he a low spin rate guy? I gotta kinda change my mentality if it's a high spin rate guy. I gotta think about getting on top. If it's a low spin rate guy, I can kinda take my normal swing and try to get the ball in the air. You guys have a lot of waxes, well, yeah, sprays, yeah. etc. in that on-deck circle. Yeah. The people wanna know what <laughs> it's all about. Yeah. So which one do you use and why? So I use this, it's called Pelican Bat Wax. It's, it's like surfboard wax. And it's super sticky. It's really just so the bat don't go flying out of your hands when you take a swing. All right, we know how you keep your bat in your hand with this magic stuff right mm -hmm. here. Yeah. What about your grip? My grip, I try to keep my top hand, like my wrist and my forearm, all in one line. The reason I do this is like, this is like a powerful position. So like, if I was gonna take this bat and bench press, I'm not gonna bench press with my wrists like this. You know, mm -hmm. they're gonna be in a straight line. You <laughs> walk into the batter's box, what are you doing? I've noticed that you, you take your bat and you kind yeah. of hit the top of the box. When I get up to the plate, I put P413 for Philippians 413 in the dirt. Big deep breath and get in and uh, compete. Last night I had yeah. Fat Joe's <laughs> lean back stuck in my head because I was watching you. Yeah. Going like this. Yeah, yeah. What is that all about? Just a re relaxation like mechanism to keep me relaxed and then I go into my move and I try to get my best swing off. Let's go back to the balance thing and show me your feet. Okay. Where they are, yes. how the weight is distributed. So this is gonna be probably different. Um, you know, we kind of turn our, our back foot in like this. My chest is pretty wide open and then I'll go. And all I'm thinking about is keeping my head over my back hip. That keeps your head in the center of your body, which is which is huge. Is that something you were taught or is that something that you just started doing and then realized it was the right thing to do? Yeah, so my swing has changed a lot um, over the last couple of years. Um, when I first got into pro ball, I was like a, a typical hitter, you know, like then I just started like studying really good hitters and I was like, man, all these guys kind of do the same thing. And I was like, I need to get there. Like I need to do that. So it took a lot of time like watching film videoing myself in the off seasons and, and kind of analyzing it. And so it's really about trusting the process and, and, and just putting the work in. You also have really solid pitch awareness. Mm -hmm. How did your baseball IQ get up? How did you get so good at the plate? Is yeah. that something you learn? Is it something you were born with? Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a combination of many things. I think you are like born with the ability to recognize stuff out of the hand. Like these guys on the mound are trying to get you to chase more than ever, so. Um, plate awareness and plate discipline is, is something that I really pride myself on and uh, I think it's something that every young kid like needs to learn how to do. What advice do you have to young hitters trying to learn that skill? It all starts like in your prep work. So in BP, you always take a ball. Don't don't swing at balls, swing at strikes. I'm not afraid to get to two strikes. And I think that's another big thing with young kids out there is like, oh man, I don't want to get to two strikes because I don't want to strike out. Striking out's a part of the game. You're going to strike out. And I hate striking out more than anybody. But you got to get comfortable with it because you're going to be in two strike count so many times mm -hmm. in this game. And How has your approach at the plate changed, if at all, mm -hmm. from minors to the big leagues? The biggest thing for me was confidence. I don't think my approach really changed a whole lot. It was just like being comfortable in my own skin and, and having that confidence when I got in the box. It all comes back to confidence. Yeah, absolutely. How, how or when did that click for you? Was there a moment that you can remember that you were like, I'm there? When I hit my first home run, that was, that was big for me um, because you know you hit all these home runs in AAA in a month and it's like, get up here and I haven't hit one in like 50 at bats and it's like, geez, am I ever gonna hit one? And it's in the air! Are you kidding me? His first major league home run! So every, I think all the Reds fans know that you and Nick Senzel are very good friends. Mm -hmm. You guys have been hitting back to back in a couple yeah. games. Is that more fun for you? We hit back to back homers at one point in AAA, which was really cool. And hopefully we can do that sometime soon. Yeah. All right, so the keys for you, confidence and trust 
the process. Josh Van Meter, thanks so much.